All right, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to go through the tier list now. So here's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do like S, A, B, C. This is my actual rankings of all of the games from one to zero. I'm going to start with the games that I didn't play yet, which is obviously Dead Souls, Ishin, and Kenzen. Those are the ones that I haven't played yet. I also have not played the original Yakuza 1 and Yakuza 2, although I have them right over there. Here's the main thing that I'm kind of thinking though. In terms of where I think that these two are going to rank, because I've seen retrospective videos on this, uh, specifically from uh, a content creator called Civit. Um, he went into a lot of detail on the things that were different between the two. And I think after playing the entire series, I want to say that whatever I would give Kiwami 1 and Kiwami 2, I would probably put like one point higher. Because the things that I am not really a fan of in Kiwami 1 and Kiwami 2 are the things that are exclusive to the Kiwami edition, minus the graphical upgrades, you know? Um, and that's just me. That's just my opinion. And I also am aware, because Rocket mentioned this, of the remastered situation. And I think that that's another big thing about it so I think if I had access to the remasters it'd be an even po a point even higher than that but as it stands right now this is how it is so that's why they're going here but I just wanted to explain that first so <sighs> fuck where do we begin so I think I'm gonna start here with Yakuza 3 so Yakuza 3 um this is going at the bottom. And that's not to say that it's a bad game, because it's not. It, out of all of the Yakuza games that we have available to us, this is not the best one. And out of all of them, right? If I had to choose something to go at the bottom, it would be this right now, after I didn't play it, right? I'm sure that if I played all of these, so one of these would maybe be at the bottom too. I honestly don't know. But at the moment, this is at the bottom. I'm not saying it's bad because it's not. I loved it. I enjoyed it for what it was. But I think that all the other games are better. That's just my opinion, okay? Story, gameplay, morning glory, the combat, everything about it. Well, also Kiryu being by himself. Um, Yakuza 4 is going one tier above it. <laughs> one tier above is going above it. Oh, also, I gotta say, um, Rip, um, Rikia in Yakuza 3, because he was the best boy in Yakuza 3, and I fucking love that man to death. And it's a shame what happened to him, but I shit you not, I remember him, the assassin guy, who looked like Wesker and spoke really bad English, and Mine as the final boss fight. Oh, and like Honda and um, a couple of the other. I enjoyed it, I really did, but I, did, I enjoyed it less. Okay, next one, Yakuza 4 at six. Basically same problem as three, but I'm gonna give four more credit because one, I wanna say it was longer and I think it was, but two, we had four different characters, four different styles of combat, and it introduced my boy Akiyama. But I think the main thing that I remember about four is the finale. The finale of 4, I love so much. Like, no joke, it is probably one of my favorite finales, just for like the first time of like all these characters getting together. They get on the rooftop and um, Akiyama's like, alright everyone, pick an ass to kick. And then they, just, then they do just go in order of final bosses, and I still listen to the remix of all of those final boss themes to this day. It's like my favorite, favorite one. So Yakuza 5, hmm, so here's where it might be right now. So Yakuza 5, I fucking loved this game. I have not done everything in this game yet because there is so much shit to do. But five different playable characters, excuse me, all of which have their own unique style, all of which have their own extreme heat-isms, they all come together in a very like, I want to say like, it was almost like an Avengers kind of style that they came together because like, 
my main thing was like, you know, obviously, Akiyama, Saejima, Kiryu you all know each other, but how the fuck is Shinada going to get into this, you know? And then they found a way to do it, and it was really exciting how they were able to, like, cross- it literally felt like something out of Avengers. Um, the final boss fight, fucking goaded. I love this fight, even though the ending made absolutely no fucking sense. I also really liked this ending, and I feel like 5 is a better send-off for Kiryu if he died at the end than Yakuza 6. Like, if Yakuza 6 wasn't- if Yakuza- if I played 5 when it came out, this would be my favorite Yakuza game, like, straight up, without any context. I would have been like, holy fuck, did Kiryu die? We're going back to zero next. No, no, no. Tell, tell me what happened. What happened? You know? Um, so, I think that 5, at the moment, is gonna go at 2. Okay? Yakuza 0. Yakuza 0, though. My first Yakuza game that I played with all of my friends. Um, Zach, shout out to Cold Hand Zach in the chat for introducing um, introducing Yakuza to me. Because without that man, I would not have played this series. I would not be dressed up as this, as this fucking man right now. Um, I really loved the way that we played Zero. Because I was Kiryu, and uh, my friend Christian was Majima, so I never got the chance to actually play Majima, right? And that's been an ongoing joke here for like <laughs> for like months, right? Like, oh yeah, I never played as Majima because this is this is why I never played as him. And even in Kiwami too, when we uh, when we did uh, the Majima story, I brought Chris back <laughs> so that way he could play as Majima, and I, I thought that was really funny. Um, but. Uh, Yakuza 0, I did not appreciate as much the first time around, because originally I gave it like, I was like, yeah, it's like a 6 or a 7, it's just too long, too many sub-stories, whatever. But, I know, I've told you guys this already, and obviously, like, you know, I played it on stream. Uh, right after I beat 5, I started 0 again, for my second playthrough. Um, and so when I played 0 a second time, after experiencing all of the other Yakuza games and just seeing how much love they put into this fucking series and really Zero is the game that I feel like kicked off the resurgence of Yakuza in the West and I got to play as Majima and Majima is straight up one of my favorite characters to play like I think I prefer playing as Majima over Kiryu and Zero and um it was, it was a fucking experience. Like, I feel like Zero, even without playing the rest of the series, is very solid. But while playing the series, like, after playing the series, and then playing through it again, like, holy shit, dude. Like, that was a fucking experience. Whole story, Kuze, fucking great. Fucking goaded. So I think that Zero is at number one for me. Ooh, this is hard. So, this is really hard. It's gonna be these three that are gonna be the hardest to place right now, <laughs> I'm, I'm being honest. Um, so I wanna start with Kiwami. I replayed, not, I didn't replay it, but I played Kiwami somewhat recently. And the first thing that I did was I tried to complete Majima everywhere. And I straight up couldn't do it. There's a part right now that I'm stuck in because I can't get Idol Majima to spawn. And I think that alone... Like I said when I put um, the other Yakuza games down here. The main thing that I don't like about Kiwami... Are the Kiwami... Re like the Kiwami exclusive things like the sub store like the lazy sub stories um I like the style switching but I want to see before I give a final opinion what Yakuza 1 combat feels like because I haven't experienced it yet because I really like just like in 6 and Kiwami 2 Zero's combat is amazing but in Kiwami it's better the only downside is the extreme heat shit, like the, the what was it, the, the super heat moves, and um, Majima everywhere. 
I loved Majima everywhere at first, but trying to grind it out, like, you fight this motherfucker so goddamn much. It's bad. It's, it's, it turns bad. Let me unlock the dragon style with the experience points, because you get a shit ton of experience points anyways, but then there are certain points that you need Majima everywhere to complete, right? Just like with the Komaki battles. I think that with Kawami, again, a lot of the things that make me not enjoy it are the things that are Kawami exclusive, minus the combat. Other than that, I love the story. It's it's a beautiful story. I loved all of the the boss fights, the Nishiki fight, Nishiki. I personally think Nish, Nishiki's kind of a bitch, but like that's that's just me. I I I treated Nishiki like he was nothing, but that's also because in Zero I was like kind of kind of a, a wimp in my opinion. Um, that's just my opinion though. I'm not a huge fan of Nishiki just because of like. I just kind of see him as, like, I don't want to use the word pathetic, but, like, he's just, like, I just didn't view him as a threat, you know? I just didn't really view him as a threat, really. Um, and I think with that being said, actually, I'm probably gonna have to put this here. Because I feel like I've said a lot more negative things and positive things about it. I definitely think it's better than these two, but, um, also looking at these two... I can't really say that, like, I would want to play Kiwami again. And I think a lot of that really has to do with, like, Majima Everywhere. Um, Majima Everywhere, the extreme heat stuff. Um, that sort of thing. That's just my opinion. Anyways. So we have Yakuza 6 and Kiwami 2. So, I played Kiwami 2 right after Kiwami 1. And I think that, again... The main th wow this one's gonna be really hard it i think it really just goes down to story because the gameplay of these two is exactly the same except kiwami 2 is obviously better i don't know man i really liked the story of six but i also really liked the story of two this is a hard one on which one i like more because i want to say that like Oh, fucking A. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I think I got it. I, th I think I got it in my head. This this might just be my initial thoughts, and it might change over time, but I think... I think this is where it is right now. I think this might be my list. And here's why I, I put these two the way that they're at. So, once again... The things that I don't like in Kiwami 2 are the things exclusive to Kiwami 2. The amount of reused assets that are in here, in like the game itself, like even the um, the extreme heat thing, I'm personally, over time, not a fan of it. Because if every, if every character had their own unique heat action, I think I'd enjoy it a lot more, but... He has, Kiryu has two different generic heat actions, like for the extreme heat, which is like the one where he goes, boom, and the guy just goes, oh, what? You hit me, and then he just falls over. And then the one where he does the flying knee, he has a couple of unique ones, but like, a lot of the reused assets, um, you know, just really distracted me a lot. I liked the story, and I loved it for what it was. Ryuji's a fucking bomb-ass villain and I love him. It's so hard because it really could go either way because I obviously the combat in Kiwami 2 is better, but a lot of the things that I don't like in Kiwami 2 are exclusive to Kiwami 2. So that's why I want to replay Yakuza 2 to, to get a better viewpoint on it. And obviously we just played 6, um, ending of the Kiryu Saga, but I think the thing that 6 does very well is it gave me like Anakis, it gave me brothers of characters that I like truly gave a shit about um and loved and even like at the very end Nagama's like yeah we're gonna do this together right and Kiryu's like yeah fuck yeah we are you know like I really liked Kiryu's no nonsense I don't give a fuck attitude like we're just gonna get down to business I think this I think this is my list right here I think my list right here is zero at one five at two six at three Kiwami two at four five Kiwami 1 at 5, Yakuza 4 at 6, Yakuza 7 at 3. 
Here's the main thing that I want to reiterate though. You're gonna look at this list and you're gonna go, why is this here, why is this here, why is this here, why is this here? All of these games are very solid. I love each and every one of these and I will replay them in a heartbeat. heartbeat. Except for maybe Kiwami 1, because I don't want to deal with Majima everywhere again. I'll deal with the fucking food shit from 6 and 2, but not Majima everywhere. I haven't played these yet, so I feel like when Ishin comes out, obviously Ishin could be added to the list. Um, when I replay Yakuza 1 and Yakuza, or when I play Yakuza 1 and Yakuza 2, these could be added to the list. I already know for a fact that both of these are going to get a higher point than K2 and K1 as well. Um... That's just, that's just me assuming, but I feel like that's gonna be the case. Because the things that I don't like in Kiwami 1 and Kiwami 2 are exclusive to those two games. And, um, Dead Souls haven't played, obviously. I would like to play it, but it is very hard to get right now. And, um, you know, I have my PS3, so I, I technically could. I just have to buy it, um, and then just play it. That would be an off-stream game, though. Kenzen, obviously I'm never going to play because it's never going to get localized. And then Ishin Kiwami is going to be coming out in, uh, in February, but I'll never know what the original Ishin is going to be like, unless I emulate it or something. So right now, this is my list for the Kiryu Saga. I would, however, if you have them, and especially in the YouTube comments below, I would like to know what your list is uh, between all these games. And if you have a disagreement with me, I would want to know what the disagreement is. So, um, thanks, for, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.